Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, find the number of factors of 1080 which are perfect squares. So what is the given question? You have to find out the factors of 1080 which are perfect squares. So how to do this? Okay, so first step is you have to express 1080 as the product of prime numbers. So, 1080 you have to factorize. What is 1080? 108 is equal to 27. So, 27 into 4. 180 is equal to 27 into 4 into 10. Okay. I am factorizing it in, a, it in an easy way. Otherwise, you have to uh, do the same step as you do for uh, doing LCM 1080. First, you have to divide by 2 then you have to write your 540 then again divide by 2 so this is the way you normally do your factorization so instead of that you can just express 1080 as the product of familiar numbers so your familiar numbers you have to write the 27 into 4 into 10 and then you split up these numbers as prime factors 27 is equal to 3 cube 4 is equal to 2 square and 10 is equal to 5 into 2 so finally 1080 can be written as 3 cube into 2 cube into 5. So now this is now this 1080 is of the form P1 raised to A, P2 raised to B and P3 raised to C where P1, P2, P3 are prime numbers. In this case P1 is equal to 3, P2 is equal to 2, P3 is equal to 5 and A is equal to 3 b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 1. So, we have expressed the number as a product of powers of prime numbers. 1080 is equal to 3 cube into 2 cube into 5. Now, how do you form different factors for 1080? You will be trying out different combinations of these numbers. So 5 is a factor of 1080. Then 2 cube into 5 is a factor of 1080. 2 square into 5 is a factor of 1080 3 into 2 into 5 is a factor of 1080 so by trying out different combinations of these powers or these numbers only you will be getting different factors for 1080 so you can say any factor of 1080 will be of the form 3 raised to a into 2 raised to b into 5 raised to c. A, b, c can be any number. How many values a can take? a can take value from 0, 1, 2, 3. b can take value from 0, 1, 2, 3. And c can take value from 0 and 1. So, these are the different combinations possible. Any factor of 1080 will be of the form 3 raised to a into 2 raised to b into 5 raised to c where a, b, c will be having specific values as given here. A can have any value from 0 to 3. Similarly, B also can have any value between 0 to 3 and C can have a value 0 or 1. Now, for this factor to be a perfect square, what are the different combinations possible? What are the different factors possible so that the factor is a perfect square? That is the question. We have to find out the number of factors of 1080 which are perfect squares. So, if this factor is to be a perfect square, what are the different values A can take? So, A is 3 raised to A. In the case of 3 raised to A, 3, 3 raised to 0 is a prime is a perfect square. Similarly, 3 square is a perfect square. 3 raised to 0 and 3 square. 3 raised to 0 means 1. 1 is a perfect square and 3 square is also a perfect square. So, A can take a value of 0 or 2. 3 raised to 1 is not a perfect square. 3 cube is not a perfect square. So, it can take only 2 values 0 and 2. What about B? B also same way only 0 and 2 can take values because only 2 raised to 0 is a perfect square and 2 square is a perfect square. 2 raised to 1 is not a perfect square and 2 cube is also not a perfect square. What about C? C can take only one value that is 0. 5 raised to C can only have 2 values 0 or 1. So, 5 raised to 0 is a perfect square, but 5 raised to 1 is not a perfect square. So, C can only have a value 0. So, how many different combinations are possible? So, A can have 2 values. Here A can have 2 values, B can have 2 values and C can have 1 value. So, you can say 
the number of factors possible will be the different number of combinations possible for this so it will be equal to so here our answer is number of factors number of factors which are perfect squares will be equal to 2 into 2 into 1 so which gives you 4 so there are 4 factors of 1080 which are perfect squares and this is the method you have to use for finding answer to this question now example number 2 find the number of factors of 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 6 into 5 square which are perfect squares so here the number is directly given as a product of powers of prime factor so now let n let, let n be the number so n is given as 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 6 into 5 square so already it is given as a product of powers of prime numbers 2 3 and 5 all the three numbers are prime and 5 6 and 2 are the corresponding powers so n is equal to 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 6 into 5 square so now so here the meaning is any factor of n will be of the form so any factor will be of the general form 2 raised to a into 3 raised to b into 5 raised to c where a will be taking values from 0 to 5 and b will be taking values from 0 to 6 and c will be taking values from 0 to 2 so these are the this is the general form of n or any factor of n can be written like 2 raised to a into 3 raised to b into 5 raised to c format ok so now for this factor to be a perfect square if this factor is to be a perfect square what are the different values possible so a can take what all values a can take either 0 or 2 or 4 so these are the three possible values of a even numbers only will be perfect squares 2 square is a perfect square 2 raised to 4 is a perfect square so any number raised to an even value will be a perfect square so a can take values 0 2 or 4 only the even numbers are possible what about b the different combinations are different values that b can take are 0 2 4 and 6 again the even numbers 0 2 4 6 are the even numbers possible for b b is taking values from 0 to 6 so you write all the even numbers possible including 0 then c can take values 0 or 2 so how to find the number of factors you have to multiply this here there are 3 possible values here there are 4 possible values and here there are 2 possible values so our answer will be number of factors which are perfect squares will be equal to the different the total number of combinations possible for this so 3 into 4 into 2 which gives you 4 into 3 is equal to 12 12 into 2 is equal to 24 so there are 24 factors of 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 6 into 5 square which are perfect squares thank you for watching